In this video, we're going to answer the question, what is the fastest way to rank up and also earn seasonal points within Season 5 of the MCC? So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, ramping up to Halo Infinite, make sure to tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date. So let's jump right into the video here. With the recent influx of players with a new season coming in for the MCC, I know the major question a lot of people are asking, What's the quickest way I can get through this 100 tier season pass, which is the largest season pass we've had since March of last year. And how can I earn these season points? How can I rank out quickly? And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now, ultimately, there are multiple ways you can go out playing the game. You can just play for yourself at a casual pace, and you'll unlock things. But I'm sure a lot of people are kind of looking, what's the most time effective way possible? Because there's a lot to grind out, and I, you might not have all the time in the world to play. So I'm going to give you a nice little tutorial exactly how to look into this. So first of all, let's break into the stats themselves. So let's look at this right here. Uh, so we can see right here, there are weekly challenges, and then there are seasonal challenges. Weekly challenges, you have five P seasonal points for PvP five seasonal points for pp challenges the pvp challenges equate to 370,000 xp while the pve challenges for the week equate to 470,000 xp and for the seasonal challenges i kind of just lumped them all together right here on this one so there's a total of 37 points grand total available for you to grind out here with a grand total of 881,000 xp to be earned now you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, Kevin, there's not enough for me to grind out for seasonal points to unlock everything. Well, for this week, possibly yes. But remember that every week there are 10 total seasonal points available for you to grind out as well. Each season's going to last about eight weeks or so, a two month cadence. So while you're gaining those, that's a grand total of 80 seasonal points that are available on top of the 37 points that are available in the seasonal challenges as well so that you can earn everything within the allotted time for this season. So the main thing I think you want to do is actually just kind of keep an eye on the seasonal challenges and kind of keep those in mind while you're playing. We can take a look right here at the different seasonal challenges. This is the Mr. Chief challenge. Basically just play Pillar of Autumn for the most part, make that jump. Or you can just be like Mint Blitz and just be insane. <laughs> How you pulled that off, I have no idea. But anyways, or you have the release the geese, which is another option right there. Basically, you finished Hail 3's last mission, everyone in a mongoose. So that is a very specific one right there. The who, what, win challenge is win 25 competitive matches. Now you might want to stick to Halo 3 on this one a little bit because we'll go into that a little bit later. But for the most part, for the who, what, win, it's really just whatever matches you can find in competitive, play that. That's the most difficult part, I think, honestly, is finding matches. Five grand challenge, defeat enemies, earn additional progress by defeating enemies in matchmaking games. So you can do this in campaign or in matchmaking. I've played a little bit of matchmaking and I'm already at 460 points total because I've been playing Halo 3 matchmaking a little bit. I only played like five matches or so, so you can get through this rather quickly for four points and 75,000 XP right there. Now, the reason why I mentioned you want to play Halo 3 is because of the Guilty Shot Challenge. Earn headshots with the battle rifle in match-made multiplayer games. What game do you play that you start out with the battle rifle? Halo 2 and Halo 3, as well as Halo 4 if you have the proper loadout, as long as you have Precision Slayer selected. But you can see how you can kind of team this up because Halo 4 and Halo 2 I, Classic, I think, is actually impossible to find, uh, or H2A even. I don't even think it's in the game for competitive, but you can certainly find Halo 3 and there's Team Slayer and there is Hardcore for it. And Team Slayer is actually rather populated, so you can actually play Halo 3 Hardcore or Team, Ranked Team Slayer to get the competitive wins and also work on your Guilty Shot Challenge as well. 5 OMG Complete 50 Match Made Multiplayer Games. So just play the game pretty much on that one. Here's a reason why you want to focus on your weekly challenges because in this one is Complete 
weekly challenges to earn the quick draw nameplate. That's 30 weekly challenges you need to complete. Now here's one where you kind of start building out a picture of how, exactly how to optimize your game time playing here. So this one is complete a cross game campaign playlist. Just one of those. And there's multiple kinds that are shorter and longer than others. We'll go into that a little bit later in this video. And what suggestions to play. Degrees of difficulty, complete campaign or Spartan up missions, earn additional progress for completion on higher difficulties. Off the beaten path, collect skulls, terminals, data pads, or audio audio logs and campaign missions. I do have a video on this channel showing you how to get all the audio logs in ODST. So if you want to check that out, it's on the channel here. And then this one's pretty straightforward. It's just complete 20 match made firefight games. So just play firefight a lot. But to optimize your game time, we have to look into the weekly PVE challenges. For mostly for PVP challenges, it's honestly just kind of play a bunch or play some competitive and that's about it. PVE is where you really kind of start optimizing your game time here. So for Firefighter, complete full set of match made ga firefight games, so just play two of those. Shorty Story, complete campaign missions on normal difficulty or higher, do that three times. Heavy Metal, defeat heavy enemies and enemy vehicles in PVE. E modes they do list all the vehicles right here and some of the enemies as well like knights and hunters and some flood pure forms but mainly vehicles is what you kind of want to focus on this one again this kind of narrows down our ideas of what we can optimize our time with complete campaign missions on legendary or difficulty or higher honestly i'd probably just speed run tip of the spear two times over tip of the spear is a pretty easy speed run and it doesn't take much time and doesn't really involve a whole lot of like direct combat so I would probably suggest doing that one. Huddle up, defeat enemies with close range weapons in PvE modes. This would probably favor more flood type game modes as you can generally find swords and shotguns on those levels. There's actually a specific playlist called Flooded which has all the missions that include the flood which generally have shotguns and swords and maybe a brute hammer or something like that. So you can kind of tailor your ideas for how exactly you go about your gameplay. Of course this also can come from just playing the game in general when it comes to your campaign progression. Here's another double up from the seasonal challenges here. Playlist progression, complete a mission in a campaign playlist on normal difficulty or higher. If you can do this, it's co-operations, complete campaign missions in a co-op session. Skull Duggery, complete a mission with skull activated, just one skull. So I probably just put the grump the birthday skull on, just have some fun there. And this one really narrows down the path of what you want to do. So it's complete campaign or Spartan up missions for Halo 3 or 4. You have to do three missions. When you think about it, you have to complete a campaign playlist, you have to complete a crossplay playlist. There's another one for completing missions in Halo 3 or 4. There are vehicle heavy vehicle centric ones as well. Here's another really important one as well as Promethean Proficiency. This is a weekly challenge by the way. Earn kills in PvE modes with Forerunner weapons on normal difficulty or higher. Yes, you can play multiple kinds of games, but generally I would probably focus this one on Halo 4 as that one has the most Forerunner weapons in Halo. That one you can also probably double up on your heavy enemies to killing those knights as well. Here's a big bonus of XP is complete weekly PvE challenges. If you complete them all, you get a bonus of 100,000 XP. So that's a nice boost when it comes to getting your XP to rank up faster in this game. Now you're probably like, okay, Kevin, you told me all this information. How do I exactly kind of optimize my game time here so then I don't have to waste like my entire life playing the MCC? Well, you definitely want to try to focus on your PvE stuff. That's much more tailored gameplay because most of everything else if for PvE, it's really just kind of play the game. I'd probably most likely avoid Halo 3 if you're just trying to go for more social stuff because uh, there's very low XP gains in Halo 3 and the medals are very low as well when it comes to earning those. But really you can play like CE, Halo Reach, H2A, H2, just really anything else besides Halo 3. Of course, if you want to try to grind out those headshots, Again, like I said, with the competitive playlist stuff, you might want to focus on doing ranked Team Slayer or Team Hardcore for Halo 3 on that one. But for the campaign fun, let's take a good look at this. So, like I mentioned before, we have to do a lot of stuff when it comes to some vehicles and heavy kills and stuff like that when it comes to playing the campaign. So one mission place I would suggest is doing tanks, tanks, tanks. One, if you play, it's only four missions, but it's rather quick. It involves taking using heavy weapons like vehicles and stuff like that, so it makes it easier to take out some of the larger characters or vehicles that are in the game because most of these tank levels kind of do involve well tanks and other vehicles and stuff like that. So it's a good way to get out those kills. It has Halo 3 and 4 within this playlist as well. So you can see right here. But then also you can knock out those within the 
change the scenery challenge as well. And this is on normal difficulty, so all these challenges should apply just fine. The other one I would suggest is the fight and flight one. Again, this focuses on some vehicles right here. It does have some heavy enemies as well. It does contain some Halo Reach, so you won't exactly be like optimizing your Halo 3, Halo 4 gameplay, but playing these two playlists, you'll definitely get your playlist challenges done, your cross game challenges done, and you'll get your Halo 4 slash Halo 3 change of scenery challenge done by playing these two missions as well. So those would be my suggestions when it comes to ranking up fast in Season 5 for the Halo MCC. If you have any other suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. If you on the loop for the last few days or so or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I've got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.